Hey there, Chad Fox with All Things Foxes. The topic for this week's video, how long do foxes live? The answer might surprise you. Check it out. The lifespan of the average fox in the wild is two to three years. Foxes in captivity can live to be around 12 to 14 years with the right care and environment. In the wild, foxes deal with predators as well as threats from nature, making their survival much more difficult than a fox in captivity. The lifespan of a fox is affected mostly by the ecology around them. How long do foxes live in the wild? Foxes in the wild rarely live past two years old, and the ones who made it through the first couple years usually go on to live three or four more years, since they have lived through the hardest learning stages of life in the wild. The fox's life starts with its time as a baby. This can be the toughest part of their survival, with more threats from predators and mother nature. Over 50% of fox litters do not make it past one to two years of age. Why do fox cubs die? Fox cubs, known as kits, are born blind and do not open their eyes for around 12 to 14 days. This makes them a target for predators who hang around fox dens waiting for a parent to exit so they can creep in and feed on the babies. If a fox's parent catches a predator such as a badger hanging around the den waiting for an opportunity to strike, they will often move to another den away from harm moving their kits along the way. When the parents are moving the kits, some can get left behind or eaten by a predator while the parents make several trips to move. Mother Nature can also play a role in the life of a fox kit. If floodwaters flood the den, the parents have no choice but to grab who they can and relocate. This means not every kit will make the journey. The Young Fox Young foxes are weaned by their parents by 12 weeks. By that time, they tag along to forage for food. Both sexes are sexually mature by 10 months, but may not breed until they become yearlings. The young foxes usually go off on their own around fall. The male leaves first, followed by the females. Male foxes usually travel further and have a longer range. The average weight of a fox is between 15 and 30 pounds, and the males are usually heavier than the female foxes. Many young foxes die from being preyed upon or from natural events like flooding. Also, accidental deaths can happen. Many foxes also die from starvation or parasites and disease. The Middle-Aged Fox If a fox lives past one to two years old in the wild, then they have reached middle age. Foxes that survive their youth are more likely to live a few more years due to their ability to learn and adapt to their surroundings. From this point on, the fox has already had its kits and now is mostly solitary. Foxes do get somewhat social at times, usually at night because they are nocturnal hunters for the most part. Foxes who mate will often signal each other with fox calls and mark spots with urine. This is called chemical communication. Some fox families even keep the same dens for generations. A fox usually makes multiple dens in its range that they will travel to and use when one of the others is compromised by an invading predator, human activity, or a natural event like weather. The Mature Fox There are also accounts of mature foxes who live to be eight or nine years old in the wild. These old foxes have seen it all, been through it all, and made it to a ripe old age. However, even after living through the harshest of tribulations, these old foxes can still die from accidents, injuries, and disease. The Fox's Ecology The environment that the fox lives in can be one of the biggest determinations to how long a fox will live. Areas that have more predators or less foraging foods can dramatically shorten a fox's lifespan. Many foxes die of starvation, and an average fox typically only makes one to two kills a week on a bad week. This means that they must forage for fruits and vegetables, as well as other opportunities where they may feed on the kill of another animal that was left behind. This is called carrion. Foxes are omnivores and eat a variety of small game fruits and vegetables. Whenever a fox lives in the same territory as other canids, such as wolves and coyotes, there is also a chance for them to pick up diseases like mange and others that will typically kill them within months. The Range of the Fox 
Foxes live in different regions in the world, but they will most likely stay in the same small area for their whole life. There are some cases where they may relocate or migrate, such as Arctic foxes who will migrate down into Canada for parts of the summer. Most foxes stay in the range of 3 to 7 square miles. They will build multiple dens and even tunnels and move when needed from den to den. Foxes also inherit dens from past generations, which shows just how long foxes stay in their range. Fox Biology A lot of animals in the wild and in captivity, such as foxes, can die of diseases and parasites. Foxes have been known to die from distemper, which is a respiratory viral disease, spread during coughing and sneezing, usually by other canids such as dogs and coyotes. Foxes can also catch mange and other zoonotic parasites from animals in their territories and sometimes from feeding on shared carcasses. Urbanization is one of the leading killers of a species of animals who die from contact with domestic animals who carry parasites. How long do foxes live in captivity? Foxes who live in captivity have been known to live much longer lives than those who live in the wild. There are many sanctuaries that house foxes, and on average, they live to be 9 to 14 years old. Foxes that are rescued must live the rest of their lives in captivity because of their inability to survive in the wild once someone has started to care for them and feed them. How long do pet foxes live? Pet foxes can live to be up to 14 to 15 years of age. However, pet foxes can still fall victim to predators who break into their enclosures, such as coyotes. They can also get parasites and diseases that cause death, despite their access to veterinarian assistance. Foxes that are rescued or raised as pets seem to have much better lives. However, even foxes in captivity can become injured or fall victim to disease. Foxes in the wild must endure to survive. It's sad that they can live such short lives in the wild. However, the ones that do make it and become mature foxes must be the most clever of them all. Well, that's it for today. If you found this video interesting, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Also, check out our website, allthingsfoxes.com, for fun fox activities and t-shirts. Until next time. Oh, things foxes.